It was during Soviet times, when I went to secondary school, when I went to the university. And of course the information I got about NATO was pretty biased. But living in Tallinn, in the northern, on the northern coast of Estonia, I was in a privileged position. We were watching Finnish TV, which was free. We, so we were all watching. We spoke Finnish, we were watching 10 o'clock news. So maybe we had a better understanding what's happening on the other side of the Iron Wall, Iron Curtain, than the other former USSR republics. So that was my first impression of NATO. My name is Marina Gallorant and I'm Estonian ambassador to the United States. Professionally, I got involved immediately after Estonia became independent in 1991, when it was very clear that the aim of my country was to restore its position in Europe, in global, in transatlantic community. And our two main aims were to accede to NATO and to accede to the EU. As an official and as a diplomat, I can say that we are proud that thanks to NATO, we become from the security consumers we have developed into security providers with other members of the alliance. And there is one field where I think, again, we are very successful. It's cyber. Everything concerning cyber, we are the ones who, trying, who tried to get NATO's attention to cyber defense in 99 already. Everybody laughed at us. We did it in 2004 when we joined the alliance. Everybody laughed. In 2007, nobody laughed anymore. And since 2008, we have the NATO Cyber Defense Center of Excellence in Tallinn. I think we maybe added some fresh air in the sense that we are those who support very much the open doors policy in NATO. We think that every state has the right to join the alliance if the state fulfills the criteria. The alliance should be open. I don't know who had said that, but I agree very much that if there wasn't today NATO, we had to create it. Because NATO has been one of the most reliable, efficient and working alliances. Because the members, the members of alliance, they really do share the common values, principles. They do share the understanding of the world. They are ready to go to move in certain directions. Member states are different, and it's not easy to work with 28 egos, 28 individual states. But the real force of the alliance is in the capability of having compromises, of trusting each other, and uh, in seeing the world globally. I am proud that my country is a reliable partner, that my country is uh, fulfilling the obligations which we took when we joined the Alliance. I'm proud that my country is contributing in new fields. And uh, I'm proud that my country has contributed or given something new to NATO.